Hey guys, welcome on into today's NBA pick a video play heading into game two of the NBA finals between the Cavaliers and the Warriors. And this one, going to be talking about where we see the better value standing on the over under with that total sitting at about 215. So slightly higher than what we had going in to game one, about a point higher. And of course, heading into game one, we sided with the under and we got pretty unlucky there down the stretch, a number of points being scored right at the end of the fourth quarter. And then of course, going into overtime, things pushed well to the over side of things, but Vegas was pretty much right on the money in terms of the total that they had set for game one. And like I said, this one being about a point higher, I'm not exactly sure why that number has gone up, maybe because we went into overtime in game one. So the over pushed well above uh, that total number heading into game one. So maybe that's part of the reason why this one's a little bit higher. Maybe people will think that the Cavaliers and Warriors might play a little bit more loose now that they've gotten game one out of the way. But I think in terms of the Cavaliers mindset heading into game two, I'm a little bit worried about where they might be. If they see any signs of adversity, they might close up shop and just get ready to go back to Cleveland. And we've seen this from the Cavaliers a ton of times throughout the postseason, especially in their road games. They've had a hard time scoring consistent baskets on the road within these playoffs. We go back to their series against the Celtics. Obviously, a bit different of an opponent, a slower-paced squad there in the Celtics and better defensive numbers in the Warriors. But still, Cleveland on the road against Boston put up 87, 83, 94 and 83 points respectively Cleveland did well on the road in their second series against the Toronto Raptors but also going back to their road series against the Indiana Pacers or those road games in that series against the Pacers Cleveland also not having the greatest offensive performances by any means putting up 87 100 uh, 104 and then 90 points respectively in those three games. So Cleveland on the year, of course, an offensive oriented group averaging 111 points per game. But other than their series against the Raptors, they've been well below their offensive averages and really nobody's been stepping up other than LeBron James. We look at that game one result, LeBron James scoring 51 points, but getting basically no help from anyone else. Kevin Love decent. He put up 21 points, but outside of that, pretty much everyone else was a negative impact on the cause there for the Cavaliers. They still shot about 44 to 45% from the field, which isn't all that bad. And then you compare that over to the Warriors who shot over 51% from the field is actually quite good there from the Warriors side of things. And we were still hovering right around the total number that was set going into game one. As long as we don't go into overtime here in game two, and I would be surprised if that was this case, especially with Cleveland, their mindset coming into this one might be a little bit fragile. And we've seen so many poor performances from Cleveland on the road throughout the playoffs that that could certainly be a case here in game two against the Warriors after dropping the ball heavily in that game one defeat. So with that being the case, we still feel like the under is going to be the better value bet coming into this one. So we're taking the under 215 as the better value play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up, disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our picks over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description. Subscribe for more, and we hope to see you guys back here for future videos. Bye.